Newton's law of cooling is given by the formula, uh, where A is temperature of the room, T not is the initial body temperature, lowercase t is the time in hours, and K is the constant. I forgot to mention that T is the current body temperature. Or you could say temperature after time little t. Notice it's saying what would the body temperature be of a recently deceased person 13 hours later. That means find big T. Well, luckily for us, big T is already solved for in our formula because it's already by itself. So we just had to put the numbers in. So T naught is the initial body temperature. The initial body temperature we're told is 98.6 minus the ambient temperature of the room uh, which we're told is 70 degrees times E again E is not a variable E is the number E to the K we're told that K is negative 0 0.15 times T we're told T is 13 hours later plus add back in the ambient temperature of the room Now, I will tell you, in real life, when forensic scientists are going to use this to figure out uh, how long a body has been dead, they don't solve for big T. They know what big T is. Uh, they can take the temperature of the body. They're going to be solving for little t. And little t will tell them how long the person's been dead for uh, so they can gauge who was possibly there at that time. We don't know enough math at this point to be able to do that. In a couple sections from now, we'll be able to solve for little t. But for right now, we can only solve for big t. All right, so when you put this in your calculator, make sure your exponents are always in parentheses in your calculator. Otherwise, in this case, you'll have only raised it to the negative 0.15 and then multiply the entire thing by... Uh, 13 and that's not what we want to do what Newton's law of cooling is doing here is it's saying that no matter where you start off with eventually that object is going to get closer and closer to the temperature of the room in this case so we're starting off at 98.6 degrees and we're slowly approaching the room temperature 70 degrees so we should expect our answer to be somewhere between 98.6 and 70. If it's not, then something went wrong. The body should not get hotter, and the body can't get colder than the room temperature. I got in my calculator T to be approximately equal to 74. I'm going to go to one decimal place, 0.1 degree.